Jiao Qing has made himself at home. Today is the first day he gets to meet the public. Hundreds of visitors at the Berlin Zoo couldn't wait to take a look at him and his female companion, Meng Meng, the newcomers from China. While Meng Meng had a little trouble getting used to the new environment, Jiao Qing didn't let the stress get to him. Their spacious home was constructed specifically to meet the needs of the endangered species, says the director of the Berlin Zoo, Andreas Knirim. We meet their needs first of all because the animals haven't been captured in the wild. They are not used to keep a distance to humans. In fact, they were raised by animal keepers in China. We are in Jiao Qing's backyard. Jiao Qing is the male panda who just arrived here from China. And um, the pandas don't really get to meet uh, Meng Meng, the female, and Jiao Qing apart from mating season. So the zoo does everything to keep the pandas entertained while they're by themselves. As you can see behind me, they, they created a little playground with platforms, which we will hopefully uh, soon uh, see Jiao Qing playing on as soon as he gets, gets used to this outside enclosure. But not only that, to make the pandas feel at home, landscapers also try to recreate the Chinese landscape. You see a beautiful waterfall going down here, flowing down here. And if you look closely, you can see uh, uh, smoke coming out, which is supposed to look like fog. And These details don't mean a lot to most visitors. Face to face with the giant pandas, Many are simply fascinated. They are so cuddly. I just want to give them a hug. They are so sweet and lovely and innocent. Sure, it's great to have them, but I don't think my kids and I will go look at them today. They kept munching on these things. I thought it was so cute. We will wait for a couple of weeks until things have calmed down, then we'll go have a look. The pandas are likely to boost visitor numbers. Andreas Knirim is well aware of the symbolic value of his pandas, but he's not interested in pandamania. He wants visitors to think about what they are seeing. They aren't pop stars, but animals with a meaningful message regarding important problems in nature. Hype doesn't help with these issues. I would like to be able to calm the public's fascination. I suggest that every visitor ask themselves if what they do every day serves nature best. Not just a major attraction, but a symbol of nature. Berlin's cute little pandas may be young, but they've already taken on a big responsibility.